Hello everybody and welcome to Washington City, Utah. I'm here at the house where I grew up. My parents still live here. It's a beautiful home. My dad takes great pride in his yard and everything else about this house. Anyways, I am about to take my kids up to a place that has always been a staple in this city. It is the Washington Boilers. Recently they just renovated the area and put a whole new park in there. I'm gonna go check it out and see how the water is. Okay, so about two blocks up the street from my parents lived and where I grew up is this tunnel right here. And it goes underneath Interstate 15. And this tunnel has been here ever since I can remember. And it's been a lot scarier <laughs> than it is now. Uh, right now they actually renovated it. They put a pretty much a cement floor through it, lights and you can walk straight through with no issues and it's not scary at all anymore, but growing up, there was nothing like that and you would pretty much go into the tunnel, you would see the light straight ahead and you just go as fast as you can, hoping that no spiders or bats or whatever else might be in there would jump on you. Here we are entering the tunnel. Like I said, it has a nice cement ground to it now. Lights, plenty of light in here. I don't see anything scary, I don't see any spider webs or bats or anything like that. All right, so we're coming out of the tunnel into the park. This park is brand new. It's only been open for less than a year. Opened, I believe, in August of 2020. It's been, uh, it's been planning for a long time and there's always ideas what was gonna happen here. But they finally got it together and built this beautiful park which has pickleball courts up there and also a nice bathroom. And as you can see, my kids are down there in the boilers. And the boilers is a natural spring. The water comes up in the middle out there. And it's not too cold and it remains at the same temperature all year round. But I'm in the middle of the boilers here. I can't touch. So it's at least six or seven feet deep right here. We're gonna go down and check where the water comes out of the ground here, all right? Here we go. As you can see, that is why they call it the boilers. That's pretty cool, right? That sand is like boiling down there. The water coming out of that little spot is actually pretty cool, as in temperature-wise. But the surface temperature above is a lot warmer, obviously due to the heat of the area being around 100, 105 degrees today. So let's look for some big fish. Oh, I can stand right here finally. Probably the biggest fish in this little pond here. Not quite sure what kind of fish it is. It looks to be about 20 inches long or so. Maybe four or five pounds, maybe more. Alright, so a little confession. As long as I lived here in Washington City, which was for the first 20, 21 years of my life, I have never actually swam these boilers. At least I can't remember that I have. The boilers before they made this park, was just this little pond here, surrounded by a bunch of trees, bushes, and whatever else. It's kind of a sketchy place sometimes. You find some uh, interesting people up here. Also, it was told that there was like glass and stuff in the, in the bottom, and you might cut your feet or step on an old nail or something like that. But there used to be a tree over here, it had a rope swing on it and everything, but. I never did it. So this is the first time that I can remember actually swimming in these boilers. I'm glad to, <laughs> I'm glad to be able to do it with my two kids. Yeah. Two of my four kids anyways. Owen and Penny, where is she? <laughs> anyways, it's a good time. Feels pretty good. 
swim here at the boilers. How was it guys? I touched the boiler. You touched the boilers. How did it feel? It was so cold. Yo. It felt like something, it felt like something, it felt like a giant earthworm. I know. It a giant like earthworm. Cold. So there you go. Good experience today. Highly recommend it. And guess what? If you're in Washington City and, guess and you're what? looking to cool down on a hot summer's day, guess what? come to the Washington City boilers. What's up Penny? What do you want to say? A bee flew in my nose. A bee flew in her nose. I haven't seen any beats.